Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praises to the Mosai Yahweh Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Makakodash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly call God and Jesus in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue or the Hiero Hebrew language. Right? That is his name. Double honest to our teachers, the elders and apostles at Great Millstone also who push in this word, you know, in sincerity and truth, in spite of all the different um Whales are the devil that you have to endure in this flesh because one goes contrary to another, you know. But in spite of all of that, the doing the work and bringing forth fruit, good fruit, you know, fruit, meat for repentance unto the throne of the Lord, which is an honorable thing in the Most High eyesight, which is honorable in our eyesight. So long as you are dwelling in the spirit of the Lord, shallow to these men. This is Brother Tazwa from the train at GMS camp. Coming back to, to do another hopeful edification to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Americans, and anybody who is a descendant on the far side from these people. Because people, you know, brain can retain things that make sense, and people, the most I just send real deceiving spirits and, and, and send real delusions upon people. So the thing is, who could see will see, you know, because, you know. People just like to argue foolish and vain things that will only increase unto more unrighteousness and more ungodliness. So we're doing this to the edification of, of, of someone, that special person, that elect, you know, and that one third. You know, and before I go into it, the name of this lesson is going to be, right? Is UFOs, right? Is the rising of UFO sighting in the Bible or if UFOs is in the Bible? If there is something biblical, unidentified flying objects, or is it identified to the Bible? Right, so we're gonna go into some precepts here to bring out edification concerning this. And the first precept I'm gonna read, right, is the book be from the book of Matthew, chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. 11 by let me see so like yeah bear with me Matthew chapter 13 so like yeah Matthew chapter 13 verse I'll start one verse 10 and the disciples came unto him and said why speakest thou right why speakest thou unto them in a parable he answered and said because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given so first thing first the most i say he didn't give the understanding of the mysteries of the lord unto some and then he gave the understanding unto some which is his elect the elect men who was preordained right and to back that up right i'll read the book of amos chapter 3 verse 7 and here it says Surely the Lord Yahweh Baasham Yahushai, it says the Lord thy God here. Surely the Lord Yahweh Baasham Yahushai will do nothing but reveal his secret unto his servant the prophets. So the Lord does always reveal the, the secrets, the things that he hid from the wise and the prudent, and reveal it unto the babes and the suckling, right? What then Israel, Romans chapter 11, verse 7, what then Israel had not obtained that which the secret for, but the election had obtained it and the rest was blinded. The Lord does always do the, does move so. That is how the Lord does move. The most side will deal with everybody. The most side does deal with the men who he ordained. And then they will spread his word across the four corners of the earth. And then shall the end come. Right? So we're going into it. The first piece we're going to read is going to be Acts. Acts chapter 2 verse 19 and 20. Right? Acts chapter 2 verse 19 and 20. And here's what it says here. <laughs> And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire, and vapor and smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness, which is an eclipse, and the moon into blood, which is a blood moon. We had a blood moon the other day, before a great and terrible day of the Lord. So the Lord saying, He's going to start to show signs in the heaven that will indicate to you that he, His time is at hand. Now, what is these signs? What is these signs that the Lord going to be showing? 
right? You gain it because by the end of this it will be made um, picture perfectly clear that the Lord, the chariots of the Lord, is what the, what people would call a UFO, an unidentified flying object, right? I mean, next piece I'm going to be taken from Luke chapter twenty-one and eleven. Luke chapter 21, verse 11. Right? I'll start from verse 10. Then said he unto me, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famine and pestilences, right? And fearful sights in the, in the great, right? Fearful sights and great signs shall there be in heaven and them great signs and them, them sights on them is the, is, is the blue moon the blood moon the fearful sight is what that chariot or a ufo because if some if the government was to release a, 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 a public statement that it have what is called ufos if the government was to release that people will get real frightened you know people will get real frightened of that and i'm gonna bring out a scripture here in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. I hear what it says here. Wisdom of Solomon, right? King James Version Apocrypha. It was part of the Bible. Right? This is a, what we would call a 1611. 1611 version of the King James Bible. Right? 1611 version. Right? I don't know if it... Oh, however it is the camera facing the camera right um this is the 1611 edition and this book here which is the apocrypha was attached onto the bible it's supposed to come in right after the, the old testament before the new testament so i'm gonna read from the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 5 and here where it says here then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that had afflicted him and made no account of his labors right when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and you hear the scripture say here right fearful signs in heaven back in luke chapter 21 verse 11 fearful signs in heaven right they shall be taken with um, terrible fear and shall be amazed are the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for and that is that strangeness of the salvation because when the chariots come and in, 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 in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 where it says I show you a mystery we shall not all die but we shall be changed right and what you're gonna be be caught up to meet him in the air the scriptures the scriptures back that up you know so we're moving on <sighs> to the book of Matthew chapter 24 and 30 you know, we will get on into the real scriptures on them here now that are dealing with the chariots on them Matthew Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 right I hear what it says here and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called Christ. Then shall appear the sign of man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth moon, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and with great glory. Now, cloud is just a word the scripture used to describe chariot. If you go back into the etymology or the root meaning, right? It will carry back the chariots and the chariots are the lord always for many days are uh, exodus when he's coming out of um, <sighs> egypt the chariots always used to use the cloud as a cloaking device so we will go into them scriptures and them now right well, let, me, let me read matthew chapter 26 verse 64 first right matthew chapter 26 verse 64 Right, Yahweh said unto him, Thou hast said it, nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall you see the Son of Man, right, sitting on the right hand of Yahweh power, 
right? Well, with, with the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven, so you realize you repeatedly seeing the word cloud being mentioned repeatedly over and over, and you continue seeing it. We're going into some other scriptures here, we're going back from many days are old, seeking the old parts, right? So, the first scripture we, we will bring will be from Exodus 13 and 64. And here we look at Exodus chapter 13 and 21, my bad. <coughs> and here it says here, And the Lord went, right? And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar and a cloud and, and of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to the to go by day and night so you see a pillar of a cloud by day and a, and a, and a and fire by night so this what could be covering millions of people coming out of egypt to blocking them from the heat the harmful heat of the sun coming through the desert coming out of egypt and giving light to them so they could know where they're going in the, in the dark desert. It have no lights there. Stars and them far. It didn't have no light. It's, 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 a, it's a dark place. So what is this pillar of fire to show them that they would know where to go? And they realize they say in a cloud. Right? In a pillar of a cloud. So the word cloud just means a chariot. A.K.A. UFOs. Right? Next scripture. Exodus 14 and 24. And here it says here. And it came to pass that the Lord. It came to pass that in the morning which the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai looked unto the host of Egypt, of the Egyptians, through the pillar of the fire, of the cloud, and terror and trembled the host of the Egyptians. So when the Egyptians and them see the size of this chariot, right? When they when he revealed the chariot unto them, there was the the guy real frightened. Right? So the Lord revealed himself unto them there. And they, they, they become they, they become very, very frightened frightened. The scripture said that he trembled the host of the Egyptians, you know. What cloud? Look at just watch up in the sky. And you you go get frightened at a normal cloud? A, a normal cloud up in the sky. What what frightening you about that? Come on man, the scripture is speaking about something here. And it is a code. And only the man of the Lord could decipher this code. <laughs> Next precept. Exodus 16 and 10. And here it says here. And it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel. That the Lord. That they looked towards the wilderness and behold. The glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. The glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. What is the glory of the Lord? Israel, the angels. Right? Because it's the angels and them and Yahweh Shai was in the chariot. That is the glory of the Lord. Yahweh Shai, the angels, the elect. They are the most high's glory. The most high creation is his glory. So the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. So if you realize is a consecutive re repeating of the of the word cloud so you could see you know the scripture is telling us something but just you never had people to bring it out and break it down in the proper manner right <sighs> exodus chapter 19 and 9 and here it says here and the lord said unto moses lo i come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear my hear when i speak with thee and believe thee forever and Moses told the words of the Lord unto the people so the most I say going to come unto Moses and talk to them in a cloud so that when he speak they will hear him and the, and there was the, 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 the great trembling came upon them 19 and 16 let me jump down to verse 16 and it came to pass on the third day in the morning right that there was thunder and lightning and a thick cloud upon the monks. So the Egyptians and them when they was probably seeing that cloud when the Lord earlier on 
the Lord say he, he, um, he, he, he trembled them out of the cloud. They must have been tightened and lightened, and you know, they, 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 they was really terrified, right? Um, turned on lightning and it, and it thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that the people that were in the camp tremble it's the same thing the Lord do to the Egyptians same same thing because the presence of the Lord is something to be feared because if he ain't right when he come in that kind of manner you're gonna be destroyed right when the Lord come in that kind of manner he gonna destroy you. Next precept, Psalms 104. Right? And this is gonna be the last one before you close off. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 104. I'll start from verse 3. Who laid the beams of his chamber in the waters? Who maketh the cloud his chariot? Who, who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angel spirit and his ministers a flame of fire? Now the scripture says, Who layeth the beams of heaven in his chambers and the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? What, what, what are aircraft does do? Does glide in the wind. A aircraft does glide in the wind. So the scripture telling you that. <clears throat> who, who maketh the clouds his chariot? So the, the, the chariots does just use the cloud as a cloaking device. Plain and simple. I hope this was edificational. Mawat la babal, Babylon. Kwame Ashurala.